here we have a situation that is unbearable and quite frankly I've just lost my patience. So the chief is actively working on that plan. I've shared what some of the ideas could include. I'm going to need funding for it. And as soon as it's approved, I hope that the very next day we can increase that presence. So thank you. Um, yes, there, there is still a third subject, but um, again, I'm not going to comment too much on it. I, I don't believe there's a, a risk to the public. Have you requested any statements for assistance? I know you mentioned you talked to Governor Newsom. What does that look like? I didn't request, however, we have an incredible governor and her administration was very quick to personally call, share their condolences and offered support and help in any which way possible early this morning we got on that call again to continue to brainstorm and explore which ultimately concluded what we reported today the plan that our police department is actively working on and I hope to roll out as soon as it's complete um, the governor and the lieutenant governor want to see that plan and see what it is that they can do to help offer support and you've had an emotional night He's a Hoyoke. So, uh, it was, uh, it wasn't, it didn't feel good at all, but I was just so happy to be there next to him for a couple hours through that grief. And so, you know, it was a, a real eye opening experience for me. One that I hope that nobody ever, ever has to go through again, especially here. And so, you could imagine. Well, the problem is that the baño mío no no es tanto, pero yo quiero decir a la comunidad que vamos a trabajar para ustedes. We're going to be sure que vamos a tenerle seguro para la comunidad para que no siente como esto es algo que you know tiene que sentir que va a pasar en tu vida en tu familia. So we're going to be here working with you through the night, day in and day out, and making sure that we get this nonsense out of our community, so. Absolutely. Si ven algo, necesitamos tu apoyo y llamar, contactar la policía, el departamento de policía, or call me right here in this office and we'll take care of it. Mayor, Chief, you know, this is a, a random, I think that uh, most people understand that random violence could happen to anyone, could happen anywhere, anytime, any place. We can only do what um, we're afforded the resources to do and reassure the public that after something like this, that we are going to, we're not just going to sit idly by and move on to the next tragedy. We're going to, we're going to make the changes necessary to make our streets safer. That's, that's what we do, that's what we're going to do. And with the mayor's help and the city council's help, we're gonna make that happen. think you know what's happening here in our city is not unique to what we see happening all across the country and local government you know you have people in office that try to work with what you have to improve the quality of life for everybody uh, limit liability and impact and 
and hope that people can just live and grow their families. Um, you know, Holyoke, for decades, even before I was born, has dealt with their share of tragedies throughout the years, and it's just, you know, innocent bystander like that with a baby, it's really gotten under my skin. I don't know, and I can't say for sure, if I can prevent or, or stop um, future incidents from happening, but I want the public to know that as long as I'm here, I'm going to do what I can and every power available to me to help de-escalate and prevent it from happening. This sounds like the plan that you're all working on sounds like it's a real plan and it's going to come to fruition. We're all going to find out the details eventually. That this is not something that's going to be forgotten two months from now. Correct? Just for everybody to know. Well, I think that's what I like about local government is that if it is forgotten in two months, I expect the community to hold me accountable. other questions thank you guys so much for your time and your patience through all of this I know there's a lot more questions I still got a lot of questions uh, the DA is incredible he's working on this and more information I'm confident he's gonna have available very soon and when it does we're hoping to also be able to have more information available soon on this plan and um, just right now pray for the family support them any which way you can and work together with your neighbors to demand a new expectation for your neighborhoods and get rid of the silly nonsense. Thank you. Quick. Is there any memorial services that are the To my knowledge, um, at the moment I don't I don't know. Chief, you say change are coming, uh, and I know that he does cannot be disclosed right now, but what will be your message? to people like this who have access to these guns and do these actions to deter them to continue doing this and putting at risk the valuable credibility and the pride of all I think what I would say is that, as the mayor mentioned, this city has services, you know, second to none for all people's problems. We've always provided those services. We have unbelievable services down at our Ray Street office, working with all our partners and getting people help that need it. For those people that choose a different path, we have services for them too. It just comes in a, in a different form. And they will see those services very shortly. Thank you, everybody.